Okay, we are live. Let me skip this. Okay. Let's see if I find this one here. Where are we live at? Huh? Where 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 are we live at? Oh, um uh enchanted. Okay. Hi, Kellyanne. Gosh, you have to go through, scroll through so much crap just to get to the goodies. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, I see that we're doing something. I don't have it up yet, but okay. Well, hello, everyone. Thank you for coming, uh, for being here. For the full moon, this is the harvest moon. Yay! The biggest, the brightest, the best. <laughs> so, um, yeah, big time for releasing. Um, I had done some um, research on um, the full moon and posted it in the description of the event. And uh, it had, it rang really true for me. That's for sure. <laughs> letting go of control and outcomes yes and, and all that stuff yeah don't like hearing that but you know, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm slow with it <laughs> I'm telling you all right so um we're going to do uh the intention and then I'm going to do a short meditation and then during that We'll uh, start our drumming, and then after the drumming and the transmissions, uh, I'll finish out the meditation, and then we can talk about experiences if you'd like. <clears throat> but uh, I won't be answering or interacting with you all because I'll be doing this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to look back when we're done. <laughs> all right, so, um, okay, so go ahead, Kelly. Okay, uh, this full moon, I release that which no longer serves me. I release all pain and any blocks that keep me from my connection to the divine. I also cut all cords connecting me to trauma from my past lives. I start a new today free of guilt, hurt and self bondage that keeps me from manifesting the life that I desire. And so it is. And so it is. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So everybody get comfortable. Breathe and relax. You can sit or lay down for this. And each time that you breathe, you're releasing stress, worries, anything that feels lower energy for you. And hush the ego for a little, a little while. Just breathe normally, naturally, but purposefully. So if you get distracted, just bring your attention back to the sound of my voice. Bring your awareness to the heart of Gaia. Feel it pulsing in rhythm with your heart. See its loving light intensify. And a beam of that light starts to rise upwards. See it rising all the way to the bottom of your feet and the base of your spine. Let those two beams of light meet at your feet, 
at your base chakra. Wherever this light is seen and felt in the body, that part of your body is clean of any toxins, contaminations, disease, energy that isn't yours. To be released, cleansed from your cells, DNA, bones, blood, organs, skin, all systems of the body and your energy fields. Release it all. Let that light continue to fill you up, cleansing and releasing anything that isn't yours. On all levels. See that light rise up out the top of your head and into the cosmos. See it expand out like branches, wrapping around the stars and the planets and the moon. Now bounce that light from the cosmos down to Gaia a few times until you feel you are in a balanced state. You are clear, balanced, and protected being of light. Now see a door in front of you. Walk up to the door and put your hand on the handle and open it. All you see first is a very, very bright light. This is the veil, and nothing but love is on the other side of it. Walk through the door. And see it as nighttime in a landscape of your choosing. Give it as much detail as possible. What does the air smell like? Is there a breeze? Is there, what's the ground feel like? Is it cool? Is it grass? Is it sand? Are there plants, flowers? Take a moment to notice all the beauty in this place and that it is offering it to you. See a bonfire and walk over to it. Feel the warmth of its offering to you and the beauty of its dance. Be grateful for this place. Notice the moon in the sky beautiful moon with strong and gentle energy. As you do so, see there is a beam of shimmery light in front of you. As 
as it if it is inviting you to commune with it. Walk over to the moonbeam and stand in its light. You have a mind of beings that would like to join you. Call in all beings of the highest light and ascension to join you. Who walk with you on this path. Sense their presence around you and lovingly greet them. They are standing in a circle around you. One of them walks up to you and hands you a piece of paper and a pen. Instructs you to write down the things you wish to release with love. Write your list now. Bathe in the light energy of the moon. Let gratitude fill you up. Just take a moment to really feel into this. You and the others walk over to the bonfire. There, you throw your paper into the fire. And so it is. As you feel more free in this releasing, open and allow the vibration we are offering.
While in this vibration, ask if anyone has a message for you at this time. Allow this message to come in whatever way it may. It could be a symbol, a crystal, a picture, a feeling, numbers, anything at all. Remember, we are all unlimited here. Now that you've received your message, thank them and thank all of them for their guidance and love in your life and on your path. Thank the Grandmother Moon for all she does and all she gives. Start walking back to your door. Walk through the door and close it behind you. Come back to your sitting or laying position. Breathe slowly to come back to your awareness. Wiggle your fingers and toes. When you're ready, open your eyes. Wow. That was pretty intense. Pretty intense. I had like chills the whole time. Yeah, me too. I'm still uh, vibrating. Uh, yeah, for sure. That drum has just got a really uh, heavy vibration. Yes, I love My it. Arm and just everything is still vibrating really hard. <laughs> Love your drum. Love it. Love it, Zara. That's beautiful. Yes, I love it. It's beautiful. It feels good. Okay, let's see here. Thank you, John. Thank you, Kellyanne. Thank you, uh, Kim and Lauren and Lisa and Sophia. Thank you all for joining us today. Uh, let's see, Kelly says, you guys have to go back and listen, whisper chanting in the background. That was wonderful. Thank you, girls. Lisa said, John gave lots of hearts. <laughs> Kelly Ann said, sorry, oil that dang chair. <laughs> what? <laughs> Kelly Ann said, Zara, oil that dang chair. <laughs> I know, right? It didn't this week until this week. And I'm like, what's that voice? <laughs> that was part of the, you know, we had to have that in there, the little squeaky. <laughs> Sophia said, thank you. 
Oh, so what, what did you guys, did any of you guys, like, uh, what did you experience? If you want to feel like sharing with us, that would be wonderful. Oh, I definitely felt like the ancestors around us and just being like, you know, just getting a big hug from them and like encouragement just to, you know, keep staying strong and, and, and I just felt that like, almost like a oomph, like, you know, like, keep going, keep going. You guys are, you're, you're doing great. Right. Um, I wanted to uh, acknowledge uh, my friend, Jenny Chartrand, who's the one that um, bartered her services as a two, tattoo artist for me to get these uh, sacred instruments. She had them designed and built just for me. Um, the drum was made by her friend Darren Patrick, and the drumstick was made by Marlene Kelly. And I don't know if you can tell they're pur it's purple. There's a beaded green and purple and crystal sheath, and then it's got little fringes on it. I just love it to death. And of course, this bad boy, he's just beautiful. I just love him. Oh my God, I'm telling you, I love the whole shit and shebang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That that was awesome that she did that. You know, it bartered her surfaces for that and designed it for you. That is just so amazing, Jenny. You are an angel. Yes. She's such a good heart and such an awesome person. I just love her to death, regardless of the drum. <laughs> We've been uh, friends for quite a few years and um, yeah, she just wanted to do something like that for me. So that was, that was awesome. And I'm so thankful and so grateful that she did because it's, really just added an extra oomph to my gump. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Sophia said, um, I loved when Zara mentioned Grandmother Moon because I lost my nanny in September. I'm so sorry to hear that, Sophia. Oh, no. Sending you many prayers. Yes. Uh, Kelly says, the whispers from the light language kind of took me back. And I think she says she went to Egypt too. And then John said he felt, um, yeah, she's like, I don't know. I ended up in Egypt. And then John said, total peace and feeling supported. And then Lisa said, uh, I listened while I was riding my bike around my resort. So cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then Kim ended up in the desert. That's so awesome. I'm glad you guys like share those experiences with us because it's just like so neat just uh, to share and see where, it, you know, where it takes you and and what experience you have and stuff. I love it. And it'll just like continue. I mean, I'll be vibrating the rest of the day and just like, uh, I just. I'm so glad you guys like share this experience. Sorry. I'm, trying, <laughs> I'm trying to look at the comments and I'm like, I can't do it. So, so yeah. not, we, we, it's like nothing like hearing yourself in stereo, Zara. <laughs> giving you a hard time, hon. Oh. oh, shoot. Um, okay, let's see. Um, oh, that's so sweet. Have any experiences, Kel? Huh? Did you have some experiences? I just had the ancestors. It was uh, ancestors were all around me and just like felt like they were like lifting me up and just and it felt and at one point it just felt like like chains were being broken off, you know, like the releasing, like, you know, be, this the judgment and the um self imposing and holding yourself down. It was just like felt I felt so freeing, like they were like lifting me up and just things were breaking away. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, Sophia said, um, your sound uh, 
really wonderful. At one point, it was like at at a concert. It's like yes, we're trying. That's what we're shooting for. It's like yay. That's what I told Zara in the sound check today. It's like oh my god, we're actually like harmonizing. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> right because usually it's one takes like, the other and it shifts and it's like it's gotta be a cohesive way to do this <laughs> i think it actually we've got the settings i think we finally figured it out we were like making notes on it and sending each other it's like oh and this and do that <laughs> right yeah exactly ah so kelly said um i thought you guys had one of those uh echo voice things <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish I did because that would be awesome for my meditation. I'd kind of like to have a reverb when I do that. Yeah, like, that frequency, you know, up a little bit. That would I, be really neat. Yeah, I don't have anything like. That. I don't either. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. <laughs> uh, I would have to check with you a million times. I'm like, now what's the what's the setting on that? How? <laughs> We've only been doing this for how long, Amelia? <laughs> yeah, like, oh my gosh, I tell ya. Yeah, for me, it felt like um, I could see just a, like bubbles floating up, like releasing bubbles. Um, just that's the closest thing I can compare it to. It's just I could see things lifting out of my energy and everything and i also uh saw in the fire i saw a, an image of gaia and her burning off some stuff too so that yeah. was that was interesting she mm -hmm. named the parents like that before so that was very nice to see that she's taking advantage of this event too <laughs> yes yes for sure well, I can't wait to go back and listen to it now with the echo thing they're talking about. I know, I, I know. I'm in this huge room, and my mic is like three feet away from me. Cool. Like, my mic, mic. So it might, because this room is pretty big, and I noticed that too when I was doing sound check that it sounded a little bit echoey. And I thought, well, I shut the door, and, you know, so, but yeah, it might just be too big. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Kellyanne was saying uh, mine was smoke. They pulled smoke out, plus some native came and swiped paint on my third eye, which I know, like I was doing uh, light language and they kept having me like, like flick my third eye, like go to my heart and then the third eye. And so it's kind of awesome that she was like saying they swiped paint on her third eye. Cause like, oh, she Right, yeah, exactly. And I think for me, whenever I, I do these, there's always some some sort of tree. And in the tree were my eagle and my owl. That yeah. um, I don't think, I, did I tell you about that experience I had when I connected to my drum, that, that those were the two um, totem animals that came forward? That No, you did not. Oh, I'm telling you now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's so funny. I've had a lot of owl energy around me. I like the last, probably like the last, I don't know, two, two or three weeks. Owls, owls, owls. And I'm like, whoo, the owl is strong. And then you just said that. And I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Well, I was, um, well, my friend Jenny, she said, have you, um, you know, have you heard the voice of your drum yet? And I'm like, no, I haven't. <laughs> I'm like, that, that would make sense to try and connect to it, you know. So mm -hmm. I found some um, Native American flute playing music, and I just started hitting the drum and just kind of closed my eyes and just kind of let it take me where it, where it wanted to. And the, the vision I saw was of an eagle and a uh, an owl flying together like this, and then they split apart, and then they were circling like this you know and at first i was like is this an omen because it's not natural for you guys to be paired up this way in the wild you know and they said it is completely natural and that we're here to he, the eagle was supposed to represent <coughs> strength and love or power and love 
And the owl was um, wisdom, magic, and intuition. And um, and in that, they seemed to balance each other out in that. And it was really, really um, exciting and powerful all at the same time. And it just, it really just kind of, um, and they said that um, they would be making themselves more noticeable in my awareness, you know, like you know, owls and eagles. And, and we do have a lot of birds of prey here in where I live, but I've never seen an owl yet. So, yeah, um, I, have, I haven't seen a physical owl, but they've been coming in my dreams. The owls have been coming in my dreams. And um, I have like eagles and hawks that fly over my house and like screech and I'm like, what? <laughs> like, okay, I, I'm paying attention. <laughs> Stopping and taking a breath, you know, it's like, cause I, you know, you get so caught up in your day to day, you know, day to day life and stuff. And it's just like, hey, like they're like trying to get my attention to say, take a minute acknowledge you know take a breath <laughs> like okay don't get so caught up <laughs> what's a vulture mean i don't know i offhand you would have to google it spiritual meaning of a vulture or um maybe indigenous meaning of a vulture yeah what... there's there's lots of vultures that fly over here too over top there's at least six seven eight <laughs> seven, eight, you know, especially, you know, if there's, if there's any, um, any like deer that have been um, hit or anything like that. Right. Right, John. Yeah. Sound healing is, is, yeah. It totally um, can rewire you if you allow it to. I mean, there's been times where I've been so upset that you know, and I put on some music and it just annoys the shit. <laughs> so I'll turn it off and then I have to regroup or, or do something to get into a space where even that is going to help me at that point. Um, I have to say it's been a while since I've been that upset, but generally, yeah, I sound healing for me is, you know, I have my ball, I have my drum, I have... Mm -hmm. It's unlimited on YouTube. You know, it's all just really good for your energy, for your vibration, frequency, and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely love love listening to all of that. Mm -hmm. just... Yeah, I can't listen to frequency music if I'm, you know, pissed off. I could probably listen to punk rock music or gangster rap or something like that. <laughs> I don't know that that's really helping me at that point. <laughs> Maybe moving some of the negative energy, like releasing that negative energy, you yeah. know, because you're like, get into it. Start cussing and dancing around like a man. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, move it out. Move it out. <laughs> Heck yeah. yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, Kelly, Kellyanne says uh, music has color also. It, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I, when I do the frequency thing on YouTube, I always full screen it because they always have those wonderful moving pictures with all the colors and sometimes it's like spectrals and stuff like that, or just even beautiful sunsets and mountain scenes and stuff like that. Just all the color is just really amazing. Yeah, let's see. Uh, punk is red and orange, sometimes black and gray. Sophia said, I can't wait to play my gong more often and get my get myself a, a shamanic drum. Let's see what else yeah. Say. Yes, yes. I love I definitely love my drum. And I tell you, if I have like any um kind of pain in my um uh, pain in my chest or in my lungs or whatever i love taking my drum and facing it like the the hollowed out part towards me and uh, beating it and it just sends that vibration all the way through 
it, it just feels like incredible because it's just like those those sound waves just like penetrate and just and it's like an opening you know to get that opening so i definitely love doing that for sure yeah i like music with blues and purples that vibration would just kind of help break anything up and out mm -hmm. yeah i um i've been experiencing uh some i have like a disease and i've been experiencing some um uh, problems with like my lungs and like some wheezing and stuff and so like my son he'll I'll, he'll have me bend over and he'll cup his hands and start just like playing on my my lungs and um and up my back and stuff and it just like really right now I'm I'm, I'm doing good I'm not having like a, a episode or a flare they that's what they call it yeah. um so I don't sound like real wheezy or anything, but I'll get to the point where I'll, I'm like kind of wheezy and real, um, like coughing a lot and he'll just take and just like, just boom, 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 you know, just play on my um, lungs. And it just like, it's like amazing how that just like, and then he'll say, you know, take in a deep breath and breathe out, take in another deep breath, breathe out. And then, and then I'll like raise up like real slow and just like do that deep breath again and just like breathe out and it's just like holy crap that feels good <laughs> you know it's like amazing yeah absolutely um, oh yeah yeah definitely call in the fairies yes yes for sure i have my fairies all around me <laughs> <laughs> awesome all right well i think we're about done here it was so, yeah, it was so nice talking to you guys today and yeah. connecting. I love it. I miss you guys. <laughs> yeah. We, I've been, I, before I got here, it was like Facebook was my lifeline. You know what I mean? It was like my yeah. connection to my, outside of my situation at the time. And now that I'm here, I have so many other situations. <laughs> <laughs> but I really don't, you know, I may check it once or twice a day, but I don't stay on it like, you know, like I used to at all. But um, I feel like there is a um, ramping up to do more lives and that kind of thing, more light work and everything. So that should be coming in the next weeks, maybe a month or so for me. That that October's coming up. You know, that's the fun the fun month. <laughs> that's me too. I have been getting the call to come back and do some lives. I was trying to work on. Um, well, I've been doing a lot of gardening, a lot, a lot of uh, putting you know putting stuff up for uh, the winter, uh, gardening, canning, and stuff like that. And that takes a lot of energy and stuff. So, um, and then trying to work uh, a little bit more, incorporate a little bit more on the physical, on my, on the body part. It's like the mind, the spirits, check, check. But it's like the body part is like, you're kind of slacking, Kelly. Get, you know, get to do, doing some body work. It's like my guys are just like always like chitter chatting in my ear. Like, let's go. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe somebody else needed to hear that today. I don't know why in the hell I'm like <laughs> saying that, nah, but I don't know. Are you just kidding? Because we're going out the door. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah, get back on the horse. <laughs> that reminds me of. <laughs> Speaking of, no, let me tell you this one. Raj. Kuthar Pali, he, he used to think it would say, get back on the whore. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, Lord. He said, get back on the horse, get back on the whore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> anyway, all right. Well, thank you all so much for coming. And uh, we'll be back next month for the next full moon. See you. Love you. Bye.
Bye.